drive your old car. Support your local bands and watch John Yao Media. It's a 46 Willys pickup. Um, got a 350 Chevy in it, turbo 350 trans, uh, built off a late model uh, dirt track car with a Franklin rear end it, quick change. Um, fun to drive, <laughs> not comfortable. Um, does it drive real good? It goes. It, it it drives good, but it's definitely not uh, definitely not a comfort vehicle. It's it's rough riding, and it hurts your back when you're sitting in it for a long time. So, no, no long road trips. We come up from the Dells here to Simcoe, and I think we burned up 18 gallons of fuel coming up here. So, I mean, it's not not your road trip vehicle. Yeah, that's quite a drive. Maybe two, three hours. Oh, two two hours and a broken axle shaft. So we had a, a good three hours in it. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you looking to get more uh, comfortable seats in it? No, actually, I like the seats that are in it. We took the race car seats out so that uh, we get a little better look to it and brought them down a little bit. We had we had the race car seats in and it, it was sitting you too close to the dash, so it just didn't work on that. And the old Willys cabs don't have a whole lot of room. So. Yeah, there's not a lot of room in there. No, not at all. <laughs> I don't see a lot of Willys. Where did you find this? Uh, this was brought bought as a project down in uh, the middle of Iowa. And we brought it up here and I had to change out all the, all the hubs and the drive line on it redo a bunch of stuff on the suspension to get it to drive better and we got finally got it on the road last fall and after two years of project so it's uh it's been fun now <laughs> you see any of these at uh, shows because i don't see a lot of these mm, a few for a few willies there's a my buddy's got a 1950 that i share a shop with in here so but his is more like a gasser style and this is that we follow the rat rod style with this one. I think a lot of the gases were just uh, used up in the trade strip and just kind of broke down and people got rid of them, so there's not many left. Yeah, they got twisted pretty good. A lot of them did. So. I don't know if there wasn't a big production numbers for the Willys because I don't see a lot. Uh, I think they were. It, it, it made it this. This is. They started these out in '46 and they ran this body style till '50. And then from 50 to 62, I think they made they had the other body styles, a few little changes here and there. But they did run the pickups all those years. I, I don't know what the production runs are, but Maybe I think people just didn't see them. No, most of them brought it into the ground, and farmers had them. And for the drag strip, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Drag strip or four wheel drive. They were an awesome four wheel drive vehicle at one point. This one was uh, this one was originally two wheel drive, but they did make a lot of four wheel drive models that were. I just talked to a guy at a show who had a uh, replica of Willys, and I think it was a 41. Yep. So I guess they're making uh, replica body styles for this. Yeah, for the old drag style cars and whatnot. So you can't find the originals, or they're really too expensive? Uh, if you find the original clean one, they bring good money, that's for sure. So. Something that somebody wants today. They're, they're nice looking vehicles. Yeah, they've got a unique look to them, for that's for sure. Did you add all the uh, accessories on this? Yeah, I added a bunch of extra to it. They had some other stuff on it, and we uh, we buy and sell a lot of antiques, primitive stuff, and and I just kind of collect uh, some of the cool stuff, put it on here, and <laughs> see what fits. This? I've had this three to four years, something like okay. that. Not too long. Not horrible long, no. Do you know a couple of the past owners that had this? I do know the one past owner that had that. The guy name was John. Um, but he. He started out building it at the at the side road Jeep uh, supply somewhere down in Iowa, and then I think it sat in their showroom for a while down there, and sat in the garage after that, and then I got it. So yeah, yep, yep. It is very cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, very, very unique, very original. That's kind of more, more our style of stuff. And I grew up with a 46, or with a, a 51 Willys. The family had a 51, and so I've always kind of loved these. And they wanted a rat rod of some sort, so we were searching and searching and searching, looking at building one. And then finally, I ran across this one on accident and decided this was what I wanted. Well, that's pretty cool. Yep. It's not every day you run across one of these. No, definitely not. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Subscribe and share this video. Go ahead, share it. I'll wait.
drive your own car. Support your local bands and watch John Yao Media. I found it in a field that was going to a junkyard when I got it. I saved it basically. I've had it for seven years. I hand built virtually all of the truck. John Yao Media. One interesting fact is the name on the back, Miss Stress, my wife came up with because she said that car is your bleeping mistress because I spent so much time with it. John Yao Media. I bought the car and it was abandoned since 1972, I believe, was the last time it was registered. Engine was blown, transmission was blown up. I got it rolling chassis, hadn't been touched since the last time it was drove. John Yao Media. Um, it was originally on a farm that raised chickens. And in 1930, the wife of the original owner, his, her husband would load chickens and eggs and stuff and take it to town on the buggy. Well, she didn't like that he had to leave in the dark and he wouldn't come home till it was dark. So she saved pennies, dimes, nickels and bought her, bought him this truck. And I bought it from the grandson of the original owner. So technically I'm the second owner of this truck. John Yao Media. And I put the side pipes on, I actually they called lake pipes back in the day. I like the looks of them and I like how it makes the car look lower. Funny story is, I put them on and they're stainless, and I'm a welder fabricator. So I put them on, that my intention was not to hook them up right away, because I, you know, I didn't have time. So I welded extensions on them that, that put that behind the, the frame so you couldn't see it from the wheel well. And then I took a torch and blued the, the corners so it looked like they were used. So everybody commented on it, but then I had so many people crawl under the car to see if they were hooked up. People did that. People would do that at car shows, so I'm like, the next year, I'm like, I got to get it on a lift. Then they would call you out. Oh, yeah, yep, I had to get it on a lift and hook them up. And John Yao Media. That when drag, it has drag blocks on it to throw sparks at night. And when dragging the drag blocks, we cracked the fuel tank. And we were about an hour and a half from home at that point, and our decision came to be that we were going to use a five gallon Home Depot bucket with a hole shoved in it as a temporary gas tank to get it home to avoid trailering. And everybody thought it was hilarious to decide to name it the gas bomb because of the bucket of gasoline in the trunk. John Yao Media. How far did you drive today? About an hour and a half, 78 miles. That was an okay drive? Just not no, no, it's, it's horrible. It rides really bad. The seat is wood. We've got a couple little cushions on the seat. Um, it only holds nine gallons of gas. Wow. I get just over 11 miles to the gallon. Do you carry extra gas with you? I got a two gallon gas can. Okay. But I stop at almost every gas station I see. John Yao Media.